it's me, Renee, I'm back. So you might be thinking, oh, you're looking weird today. The hat, kind of tilting, the jacket, the nice jacket, the rose-ish lipstick, pinkish lipstick. Well, actually, there's no reason for that. I decided to do a video on my favorite steampunk books. And because steampunk is defined as alternative history with uh, where they have uh, where they have different where it's ba they have um, energy based on steam, so they don't don't have uh, they don't have electricity. They have steam, and they have lots of different uh, technology than we do in our past and stuff. And it's often kind of quirky. I decided to do the hat tilting. And uh, the jacket because it's often centered around high class. So yeah, and as you probably noticed by now, or might at least, when I do a theme video, like a theme recommendation, in a way, I'll try to dress a bit up in a way. And I suppose you could say, "Huh, are you doing top five? Are you doing top ten? I'm not really doing any top anything. I'm just picking out some steampunk books I think everyone should read." And they are great, and there are more than five, so I can't, I can't really say it's top five, really. And it's more than six, so it's just some steampunk books, steampunk books, as the, as the other days. It's just some books, not a specific number, really. Well, they are some specific number, but yeah, you get my point. So, I'm gonna start with one I recently talked about uh, a bit. I suppose I don't really know when I'm posting stuff, so I suppose in a film, it would have filmed recently, but I don't know if I posted it recently. Anyway, it's the Athena Club series by Fyodor Goss. I suppose you could argue it's this steampunk, but it's kind of steampunk because it's set in the past. It has different, different technology, and it has villains who were who are mad scientists, which often steampunks include. They often inc include someone messing around with technology in a bad way, at least in my mind. I might be saying something completely wrong here. If I do, just sue me. Oh, yeah. But anyway, uh, this one takes place in the 1800s. It has it uses both f fictional and real people. No, sorry. It uses just fictional people. Yeah, sorry. Uh, went a bit wrong in there. Uh, it takes um, known creatures, well, known characters, such as the girlfriend of Frankenstein, well, of Frankenstein's monster in that story. It takes um, it takes the Jekyll and Mr. Hyde story, and it takes elements of, uh, of Dr. Moreau's Island, like all these different goth stories. And they used elements of those and mixed them in together. Uh, so, like, the, the books exist. The Frankenstein books exist in this world. But it got things wrong. And, yeah, it's just very cool. It has uh, a cast of female who's friends. And they live together and fight crime together, I suppose, in a way. They get some help from Sherlock Holmes. So that's fun. And it's a really good series. This is the second book in the series, and I think it's only supposed to be three books, which is kind of sad. But anyway, check this series out. Theodora Goss. Great book, and also such a beautiful cover, isn't it? Both the, uh, both the title and the illustrations. It's so cool. So cool. Okay, next one is... The Girl in the Steel Corset, it's YA steampunk. It's one of those, I suppose, in a way, angsty YAs, because you have a girl who doesn't really know who she is, and she finds a mysterious bad boy. So there's some angst there, but it's still fun. And she ends up with this gang of bad boys who, who are fighting crime, in a way. Yeah, um, I know, I should reread stuff before I do these videos. But anyway, it is steampunk. And this is a really fun series. Unfinished all of it yet, but the first book takes place in England, the second takes place in US. I'm not sure where the third and fourth is, but I think 
Uh, I think that at least there is just four books in the series. And yeah, it's a really good series if you want to read some YA steampunk, really. And then we have a book I've talked about before as well. Hey, it's gonna happen, really. The Clockwork Scarab, or in other, in other words, Stalker and Holmes. This is steampunk big time. Electricity, electricity in their world is uh, it's banned, it's prohibited. They have uh, flying machines, there's uh, lots of robots and mechanicals they use, and lots of all this stuff. But they also use fantasy, like vampires are in these books, and witches, and whales, and it's, yeah, it's really fun. And this one, uh, kind of like the other one, one of the Athenian Club, it takes some aspects of fictional, but it also uses but it also uses some things from a real world. Like they have Sherlock Holmes, but they also have Abraham Stoker. You know, Bram Stoker who wrote Dracula. But he's in there and uh, his uh, sister is a descendant of a, a vampire hunter. So that's kind of fun really. So things are real and yeah, it's just a really good book. Well, sorry, a really good series. It's a steampunk uh, middle grade series. I think it's middle grade. I have to double check that. I'm pretty sure it's categorized as middle grade. I think I saw it someplace called middle grade anyway. And the, yeah, well, the characters are 14, 13, I mean, think maybe 15, 16. Uh, but they're middle grade in a way that it's not, I suppose, how do you define middle grade? Some people say middle grade don't have romance, middle grade doesn't have. Uh, violence and middle grade doesn't have steam sex scenes. Oh, it doesn't have sex scenes, but it has romance and it has it's violent sometimes. And the characters are older, they're 15, 16. So I'm not sure, but anyway, it's middle grade or YA. It's a really great series. Check it out. And also beautiful covers. So beautiful. Next book I have here, well, this is actually a series, but I'm just, I don't want to bring out a whole series because that's a big mess. Uh, so this is the Parasol Protectorate series. It's actually the first one I read that was steampunk. Well, I actually also read uh, Infernal Devices, which a lot of people categorize as steampunk, but not very steampunky. And some people don't say this is steampunky either, it's more gaslight. So definitions but this one has flying uh, flying uh, machines like this it has alternate history it has uh, it has uh, mad scientists and it has a lot of the trademarks we live steampunk it's an adult series there's some sex in it but not like huge amounts uh, there's some violence in it but like not like very violent so let's say it's adult in a way that the characters are, characters are adults. But it's not like you have to be over 18 to read it, really. Though I was 19 when I read it. 19, yeah. This is the second book in the series. And this book, Parasol, Parasol Protectorate, sorry, this series, Parasol Protectorate, consists of five, book, five books. Then you have the spin-off series, Finishing School. And then you have the and that you faced it before, it's a prequel. And then you have the sequel series. That one. And then you have the uh, small novellas there. So you have a whole universe in this un books of universe in this universe really. So if you like this one, you have lots of this stuff to read really. I highly, highly recommend this. Yep, moving on. And then we have Invisible Library books. Another steampunk that's adult. It's a bit violent now and then. And it has some sex scenes, but not many. And actually, the romance is really good in the series. It's there, but it's not intense and forced and just everything. It's there in a very natural, good way. This is the fourth book in the series, I think. I think it has four books so far yeah this is the fourth book and this coming next next one is coming 
in general. It's a book, it's a series around the magical library where they have to go to and there's different uh, alter, alternate uh, dimensions, alternate parallel universes and the plot, the main characters has to go to different universes to collect books and valuable books and during those missions they get attacked by vampires, by werewolves, etc, etc. And they have dragons as well in there. So that's, yeah, it's really, really good. The villain has really, really good. And uh, yeah, you should check this one out. Also great cover, isn't it? So nice. And then next book. Soon finished. Just two more left. Next book I was actually recommended by Gail Carrier, the author of Stolis uh, Partial Protectorate series. It is Timekeeper by Terra Sim. Uh, this one is young adult. It came out two or three years ago. The last book came out this year. It's a trilogy. It's a uh, steampunk in the way that it's different, a uh, different alternative history, and it's different technology. And in this world, actually, uh, all the towns and the cities have a clock tower, and if the clock stops. The time stops in that town, so it goes all Groundhog Day. So that's kind of fascinating, really. So it's very time. It's not time traveling, but it's kind of like magic with time. So that's really fun. And in this one, there's a male male relationship, and it's so swoony. It's done very well. It's very, very nice. And yes, a great world, and you see a very nice, a very nice uh, cover as well. Um, the second book takes place in India during the Indian uh, Revolution. Well, similar time ish around the Indian Revolution. So that's really fun. So you get to learn that because it's based off real stuff, you know. And yeah, this one's really good. One of my favorite books ever. So good. So good. Timekeeper by Tara Sim. And then, last book, which you probably might have heard of, because it's a known author. It's the Dark Days Club series by Alison Goodman. She wrote also Iona and Eon, mm, that came out a few years ago, around, uh, that was based around uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese mythology. And then she came out with this uh, in 2015-16. It's a steampunk YA series. It's kind of like the other series, this angsty, uh, angsty bad boy love interest, uh, but it's also have secret. It also has secret societies and magic, and it's very very fun. And it's got great covers here, and and it's a trilogy. And the last book I just got a few weeks ago, so I'm planning to read this during the fall. Actually, I really want to get to this, and. Yeah, this series is very good as well. It is. So, yeah, there's, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna do like the. So, there's a bunch of Steampunk books you should check out if you like it. Renee, out.